Good evening, YouTubers. Um, I am going to put together a kit I bought off um, Banggood, and it's the 555 um, signal generator kit. Um, this manual is all written in Chinese, um, but luckily the PCB board is quite well marked so you don't really need any any additional instructions um, so I'm gonna put this together and when it's done I'll show you guys alright alright guys so I finished the 555 signal generator um, and I've hooked it up to a 9 volt DC power source um, with my nifty little um, adjustable power supply um, and on the output I've got it hooked up to my oscilloscope which is sitting over here um, and I currently got it set to to the square wave with that jumper and I got the volume I don't know somewhere in the middle um, that obviously adjusts the voltage output um, which basically adjusts the amplitude um, the frequency is set at uh, a thousand Hertz for all frequencies and here let's have a look at the the output so it's on the square wave and you can see the output's pretty pretty decent pretty strong um, it's definitely not not the cleanest um, which I've seen but you know for for the price it works um, it gives me a basic square wave um, so um, let's try out some of the other uh, wave types and see what happens. Okay, let me just put my camera down. Okay. Um, so I'm going to switch it to, I think it's a, a shark tooth or s some other kind of wave. Let me try zoom in there a little bit. Uh, we can see that that is clearly um, a different kind of waveform um, and you can see here when I play with the volume um, that increases and then it decreases to basically zero All right, let's try the other one. Let's try triangle shaped waveform. And there it is. And let's get it at trigger amplitude. Can't seem to get it at trigger amplitude. Um, which means it's not giving me more than a 50 millivolt. Um, on the triangle wave which is very low and that's at full volume so that's <clears throat> the first problem that I can see is that um, on all the other waveforms except the the square wave it gets it gives you very low output voltage um, which should be a consideration to some of your hobbyists out there and which means I need to adjust my oscilloscope now to trigger within that within, within less than 50 millivolt range um, roughly there so that's the the sinusoidal wave that's the, the smooth um, sine wave and that's at maximum 
voltage while if you want to compare that the, the amplitude of that wave versus the square wave which goes right off the scale I actually need to turn the volume down to bring the square wave to, to similar levels like that um, which is which is something to consider but um, otherwise if you hook it up into the speaker you'll definitely notice the difference um, between the the gain of, of the different waves that the, the square wave will give you a much louder um, sound but it's not exactly something you want to listen to it's something you want to test you want to run it through maybe test a uh, speaker setup test your outputs and test it with various waveforms or we can even create um, different kind of synthesizers and obviously you want to run these through some sort of amplifier but anyway so that's my review for the 555 uh, waveform generator and this is how hooked into my trusty trusty kit built um, DS138 oscilloscope so yeah I I wouldn't recommend this for professionals but if you want to play around with different waveforms if you're interested in audio it's definitely um, a worthwhile um, kit to do it's very simple it's very cheap and you could even expand it into uh, something else um, however the only problem is that the, um, the frequency is is locked um, so you would probably have to do a few modifications to this uh, circuit if you want to change frequency and play around with um, with that so you'd have to look at the the any 555 data sheet and um, put whatever components you need on probably uh, a couple of potentiometers to play around with uh, <coughs> the frequencies anyways uh, I think I've gone a bit longer than I wanted to. Um, thanks for watching. Like my video or leave some comments below. Thank you very much.